Hello Aquarius, welcome to your monthly readings for the month of April. Okay, so this one came out first. I have the Hierophant. Let's see, Five of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Reverse. King of Cups, Reverse. The Seven of uh, Pentacles, eight of, pen eight of Wands, excuse me, Queen of Pentacles. The Ten of uh, Pentacles. I'm going to pull out, let's see, one more. Okay, so very good month in general. The only troublesome energy is this person coming in from the past, but everything else looks very positive. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so coming up in... Um, from the very beginning, we have the Hierophant, which does indicate religious um, revelations, and especially, um, especially if you're, lo it can deal with religion or it can also deal with spirituality. And I feel that with the seven energy underneath it, seven is also a very spiritual number. We have the seven of Pentacles, and it does indicate somebody that is. Um, Somehow religion and uh, finances are linked up together, okay? That's what I'm sensing here. So a lot of you might be like a um, a member of the clergy. I don't know if you watch this, but um, or a lot of you might be, you know, in a profession in which there is a religious or a spiritual um, uh, hue to the type of work that you do, and you're reaping um, material comfort from this um from this job and you might ha be having second thoughts here this is a card of um, taking a step back and taking stock okay it's not a bad card but um it might you might have like um, a situation in which you're looking at the ways in which you're making money if it is clearly tied in with the uh, religious or any type of spiritual you know um, practices then you might be feeling if you're doing the right thing so there is a little bit of an identity crisis but I don't think it's a major um, it's a major energy but I feel that you you might some of you might feel a little conflicted about doing it or pursuing things in this manner um, the only thing I would say is there's nothing wrong with it as long as you're giving back to people who are less deserving than you are okay so um, if this is you and you're in a situation where you're um, you're questioning your religious beliefs or you're having any type of a revelation regarding the ways in which you earn money if it is in a profession or any any type of um, work environment that involves spirituality or especially in um, religion as well just know that the financial gains coming to you needs to be balanced out with the karmic um, gains, okay? So you have to give back what you earn is what I'm sensing here. And in order to do that, you're going to have to um, really open yourself up and find out how it is that you, like, in what ways your abilities and your skill level or even your financial windfall can be used to help those that are in in need like emotionally financially or physically in need how you can contribute to alleviate um, the symptoms of society and also how you can project yourself into the outer world and how you can help those that are marginalized or those that are less fortunate than you are okay so I feel that it's going to bring you a lot of um, a very peaceful resolution at the same time it's going to um, alleviate a lot of that inner conflict that you have within yourself okay so let's go through the rest of the month and one of the most troubling energy that I do sense is um, not troubling in any way but there is definitely somebody coming back from the past okay and you're warned you're warned about guarding against this person but you're not taking enough um, you're not listening to your intuition about this person and this person is in the reverse position as a king of cups they could this could be a water sign that you've dealt with in the past okay and what i do sense very strongly is um they're they're up to their old games and you're um you're forced to confront them this month however you're not um you're not being discriminate enough and you're falling i guess you're you're getting soft whenever they're around like in their presence you just you you lose all sense of rationality and you're not on the um defense enough about this person 
he or she is showing up in the reverse position so I would say they have not changed a bit so if you're hoping to you know for a newness in rekindling that romance you are headed for a very big disappointment okay so be very careful about this the earliest time that they will change is in um, let's see in November but right now they have not changed they're back to their old ways and they're trying to reel you back in in a very deceptive way so be very careful about how you approach this situation I feel at the same time a lot of you are unable to forget this person and unable to sever ties with this person mainly because of the history that you have you have a very long history you've been through thick and thin with this person and yet um, it can be a relationship like a romantic partner or it can be somebody that um, you had a very strong emotional bond with and you've been through so much together so it's um, it makes it very difficult to sever them from your life okay and um, I do feel that um, in a way like spiritual um, like the your spiritual path is very aligned with there so you feel that either way like no matter where you turn you both tend to cross paths a lot so you feel that as almost as if it's faded but um you know i don't really believe in destiny and faith i do um i do believe that you know we have free will and we can choose um the direction to steer our life course there are definitely lessons that we can learn from each year but ultimately we forge our own destiny that's what I truly believe and the energies involved my influence might help you or you know hinder your path but at the same time you do have free will and what you choose to do would be um, it's up to you to fully engage and make decisions and live your life however I do sense that you know the energy that is coming in is this um, just because someone keeps crossing your path does not mean that you are fated to be with them okay so change your paradigm when you're dealing with this person from your past that you can't get rid of just because you have a long history together just because you feel like a very strong emotional connection and just because you feel very um very connected to them kind of like a a, a past life connection or even like a, a very spiritual connection I don't believe that um, it's deceptive in any way. Those things might be true in the past, in your past lives, but um, the way they're coming up in this lifetime, it's as much about letting go as it is um, about like believing in faith and having that spiritual awakening in which you feel that things are faded, okay? So you have to re-examine your framework um, in how you've dealt with this person from the past and um, move on forward because they are only going to disappoint you again and they're not going to give you you know um, the honesty the the uh, dignity and I guess um, in any type of a relationship in which you're dealing with this person I don't feel they're going to give you an honest response and they're they're not entirely to your benefit okay so in the process of um, getting involved with this person I feel that um, your finances are going to be drained if you choose to take that route I don't feel many of you are I don't feel many of you are going to um, rekindle things or you know reconcile with this person and um, if anything you're very focused on your finances okay your work and your finances that's where you're leaning in this situation and I do feel greatly if this person ever comes in they're going to disrupt you from your life's path so really try to um, really try to mitigate the effects by not even interacting with them in the first place because you might be tempted to let them back into your life and then they're going to um, they're going to abuse your trust once again so be careful about this okay um, so aside from that one hiccup everything else looks very very positive okay um, I know that March wasn't the best time but I do feel that if 
Okay, so let's look at, um, so finances. Finances looks plentiful. I know we have this troublesome card where it does indicate poverty, but um, I would say it's more poverty of the mind. And it's more about um, knowing your roots, knowing where you come from. So this is not going to apply for all of you, but I do feel that for some of you who might have grown up in poverty or who might have like uh, felt very deprived, this is definitely a month for you to really be appreciative of the things that you have in your current situation so that um, it will spark you to help those that are less fortunate than you, okay? I do sense a very strong spiritual awakening with this card coming in so early on in the spread and in the month. I do feel that um, for those of you who have like an impoverished background, if you come from like a very um, financially unstable environment, um, this the 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 way in which you've lived before is going to trigger a lot of the, I wouldn't say trauma in the immense sense, but um, this anxiety you have about money is going to um cycle back in for this month, and um, the only way I would say is that the only thing that I can say about this is um. If it is in your past, I feel that um, you're placing so too much emphasis on how finances affect you on an emotional level, okay? Because I feel that um, I feel that the situation itself was rough, okay? I'm not going to discredit that, but um, a lot of what you're feeling is not really financial instability, but rather emotional instability. So if you can look at it this way, um, it's not the lack of finances, but it's mainly the, the emotional ties that you have to money, where a lack in money destabilizes you emotionally. So I hope this makes sense, but it's a very complicated issue. And the root of the matter is not the, the, the lack of having enough money or the lack of money, but rather how you feel about money. So you're using money as a source of emotional security. So um, coming on early in this month, this is a very good month for healing when it comes to these issues from the past and especially to change your perspective when it comes to finances and when it comes to how you find emotional fulfillment okay because money and uh, emotional instability are greatly indicated by these um t this card and it can also um, be associated with like a lack of self-esteem due to um, lack of money so you might feel that oh you know growing up poor you it you suffered from you know low self-esteem mainly because you feel like inadequate you feel out of place and you don't feel that um you measure up to the people in your midst that might be more privileged so if this is something that you're dealing with um you're going to actually recover from this and overcome this issue once and for all for this month okay so it's kind of like a spiritual awakening it does bring up a lot of uncomfortable issues that we are unable to deal with from our past but um everything else looks so positive so this is a chance for you to really re-examine what it is that give um that boost your self-esteem and that boost your um that boosts your self-confidence because I really don't feel that it is at the root of it is not about the money but it's that um money gives you the emotional and the self-esteem boost therefore it is a means to an end and it's not an end in itself. So don't be a slave to money, okay? You're going to have to break out of this framework and this paradigm in which you've um, associated with money in the past, all right? And it's going to be a groundbreaking, a very... Um, it's going to require a little bit of spirituality in order for you to achieve this. And at the same time, I would want to emphasize as well, this is a card as well of low self-esteem okay and for those of you who are dealing with this I feel like a majority might be for those of you who are dealing with like self-esteem issues that is greatly tied in with um, like an ex-partner or somebody that you really care for who have not been um, who have rejected you or who have like done you wrong in the past I do feel like all these self-esteem issues are coming up because they're trying to um, reconnect with you and they're trying to um, reconcile things with you, but they're not going about it in a very honest and open way. 
um, they're coming back in mainly for themselves, not because they feel they did anything wrong. So I would really suggest that um, you might be going through a dip in self-esteem. This person happens to be there, so you might go ahead with this, mainly because you feel down in the dumps. Um, I would strongly advise against that, mainly because you are worth more than this person ever um than this person ever acknowledged okay so don't resort to the same type of behavior in which um you need another person to validate your self-esteem and your self-worth okay so um i know this is like um this is like things from the past and it's especially like childhood type of conditioning that you're definitely going to be able to overcome and bring to light and heal from for this month so don't deprive yourself of this opportunity to heal from this emotional baggage on um, from this inferiority complex or from this you know financial situation that you've been dealing with for quite some time i would say it spans like years and decades as well so this is something that is coming to light so that you can deal with it get to the root of the problem rather than using somebody as a distraction for you to face this problem and to get the proper healing and to come to terms with it so that you can move on to a prosperous future because everything every <clears throat> excuse me everything else looks really tremendous and especially we have this card of completion in which financial worries are finally finally behind you okay so um i would definitely say the spiritual awakening is going to force you to reassess your the emphasis you place on money and material things and i feel that a lot of you um i know that aquarius are humanitarians you know at heart and um you s most of you do see that money is a means to an end but some of you might not i feel like a, a majority like a majority of you see money as a transient thing you don't play thing you don't place too much emphasis on it but at the same time you you want enough just to get by so when the when the um the i guess the stream of money turns to a trickle you you get a little worried and you do feel like uh, very anxious and nervous when you don't have enough okay so um for those of you who are placing too much emphasis on money financial gains in general at the expense of your emotional and spiritual um growth please be careful with that i feel that um those of those of you might be hit the hardest with this energy that is coming in so either way be very careful about this and also um when you have the abundance that you need never forget where you come from and never forget that there are people out there with a lot less than you have so it's very important to give back and it's very important to realize that there are other ways that you can give back if you don't have enough financial abundance to give back to others it is very important for you to devote your time to devote anything you have at your disposal in order to give back so there are many ways in which this can work out just find a way that that suits you because i do feel that um you're growing you're growing in consciousness and you're going to be able to see and to like really appreciate all the fruitful things in your life and it's going to um it's going to tug at your heart when you see people who are suffering when you see that people don't have enough you're going to want to do something to i guess balance the social injustice okay so um which is a very great thing to do so just know that you can do this in um in a way that doesn't um disrupt your life in any way okay but at the same time I feel that a lot of you two have worked really, really hard to get where you are today. So, um, again, I would definitely say be discriminate about the people that you're offering your, um, your help to because they are not always sincere, okay? If you're dealing with a person from your family rather than like a, a loved one from a past or a love relationship, from the past i would say be very careful about the intentions of this loved one he or she might not be entirely pure-hearted and uh, 
they are taking advantage of you and especially your financial resources. They know that you have, you're have you financially abundant and they're coming in to reap the benefits of it when they have never been there to support you and nurture you through your times of need. So be really careful about this person. I feel that a lot of you might be like... um might get soft in the knees around this one really charismatic or very persuasive um, person, but um, I don't feel he or she is completely honest, and if anything, he or she might be a little pathetic in your eyes, so you feel like, okay, I, I should help, because um, the right thing to do is help, but um, I don't feel the person really needs help. They're sitting back, they're enjoying, you know, they're enjoying the, the good things in life and they never lift a finger to like um, do anything. So they don't work hard at anything, so they have nothing. This is how the card came up. They don't really work hard at anything, they have nothing, and yet they feel entitled to come to you when they need something from you. So please be careful about this. I feel like a lot of you are not... Uh, realistic and discerning when it comes to this person okay so um yeah okay so aside from that let me see um for those of you who are single relationships um new potentially like new partners um let's see yeah, the people around you and especially the people that are coming in will be very beneficial for you. And what I do sense is um, a lot of new relationships will open up. Okay, you have seven here. Um, I would say, I would say like be very careful too because um, what you see is not always what you get. Okay, so trust your instinct on this one. Ask important questions. I don't feel that you're going to be... Um, you're going to have a hard time asking questions, but I do feel that you are a little clouded in your judgment when it comes to other people, so be very careful about this when you choose potential dating candidates, okay? I would definitely say, too, April is going to be a very good month, okay? Um, April is a time for you to really rest and take stock and be really appreciative of your life. I feel that um, you are lying still, but um, there's a little bit of a smile in that so um, things are definitely going e going your way where you can just sit back and relax and um, new opportunities will come to you the only advice is you have to really get out there and um, seize the opportunities because you have a lot of new opportunities coming in but um, the the energy tells you to sit back mainly because you are not entirely clear-headed self-worth how much you have to offer and what each person can um how each person can contribute to your life and how they can make you grow so or they how they can help you grow or hinder your growth okay so really assess this with objectivity and um the first part of the month is when you really have to like toughen up I feel that you really have to hone in your power of discernment regarding other people. Um, from the 15th to like the 20th, things are looking really good. You have a lot of communication coming in from people from the past especially. So, you know, be discriminate. But I feel that the information is sincere. The first two weeks, the information is going to be insincere regarding this person. But the last two weeks, things are looking good. When it comes to the re new relationships, okay, you're going to have like um, a lot of um, a lot of contact from other people, new people especially too. So, let me see what else I've left out here. Okay, for those of you who are into um, change or shift their paradigm regarding money, so. And I would strongly advise you to do it because it seems like they, they need to learn this, okay? Um, for those of you who are still, um, you know, single, I do feel that um, you do have a lot of potential love interest in your midst that you're not aware of. So it's important for you to really embrace the new change and, you know, to um, recover from your slumber and overcome all your self self-doubt and, you know, um, hang-ups you've had in the past regarding your lovability, your worthiness, your sense of attractiveness, and your sense of, um, you know, deserving uh, of love, okay? So it's a, it's a very, very healing month, especially for the first three weeks, and you're going to come 
across a lot of abundance. So I wish you all the best. I feel like this is going to be a very healing, soothing month. Um, let me see if there's anything else here. No, I think that's it. So enjoy this month. Let me know how this plays out for you guys too. And um, I'll be back next week for your weekly reading. I hope the energy is still the same. But um, don't let the X back in. For those of you with exes of the water sign who have hurt you greatly in the past, don't let exes back in. Thanks for watching.